What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the new uh, Ocelot Ardent. Very controversial car. Um, <laughs> it's quite expensive. And from what we've seen, some people think it's ugly. Others think it's worth the money. And It's really up to you what you think of the car. I'm just customizing so you guys can see what it looks like. And that's pretty much it. So I'll get back to you as soon as it gets delivered. All right, so here it is, all its glory. This car um, is based off the Lotus Esprit, for those of you wondering. Made its debut in one of the James Bond movies when it, in the chase scene, and then it jumps off, and it goes into the water and turns into a submarine. Very, very famous scene. But that car was based off the first production model, the one in the James Bond movie. This one is based off the 1993 model, which was their last model, which is a Series 4. So I don't know what they're trying to do there, but, you know. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got the typical armor, typical brakes, front bumpers, secondary, uh, let's see here. Okay, so the tuner bumper looks pretty decent, but you look at it from the side angle, you lose that little side vent there from the stock bumper. So I'm not really liking the uh, tuner bumper that much. I'm going to leave the stock bumper. Rear bumpers, it just, okay, so it, it just adds like a little vent there. Hmm, too plain for me. I don't really like that random vent there at the center. Okay, I'm going to leave it stock. Engine, engine tunes, engine cover. Okay, so we got a smooth one, double. Tuner. What? Wait, what? Why? That's... That's absolutely terrible. Why Rockstar? That doesn't make any sense. Why would you put an engine in the back? That's... I know it's a mid-engine car, but an engine sticking out of the hood like that isn't... That's terrible. Okay, let's just do that one. Oval exhaust... Wait. That's the only exhaust option? Okay, I guess I'm leaving the stock one. Fenders, so you can... Okay, now they're really making fun of this car. Plastic fenders? Really? Plastic fenders. You couldn't have done carbon fiber fenders or something? Plastic fenders? This isn't this isn't a 1994 Toyota Corolla. This is, this is a Lotus Esprit. Okay, guess. Oh my gosh, that's uh, that's okay. I guess I'm leaving the stock ones. Hood. Let's go with the. Okay, so you have smooth, and you have a double. These are pretty decent. I'm gonna go with a sport hood. That one looks really good compared to the other ones. I've got that installed for you. Okay, let's do lights. So the car. Okay, so the car doesn't come with the yellow lights that many of you like. It comes with like a bluish light already stock. So I'm just gonna put the xenons on there. The black plate. Respray. Okay, so let's see what the secondary color does. Okay, so it just changes the side, that side panel. Okay, I'm guessing if you get the other bumper that had the secondary color option mixed in there, you get some of that there too. I don't understand that random stripe on the side. That doesn't really make that much sense to me. But, you know, let's just make this nice and simple. Let's just do a bright red. And then we'll do... Secondary, let's just leave it black, and like that's where the crew emblem is. If you guys are wondering, that's where it puts it. All right, let's see what spoilers we got. Classic spoiler. All right, that looks good, like the real car. What? Wait, what the heck is this? Oh God, no, 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 no. Okay, let's put the classic. Let's the suspension. That looks a lot better. Transmission, turbo, wheels, okay, this is where you can make or break the car, 
Yeah, this this really changes the whole look of the car right here. Doesn't look too bad if you customize it to your taste, but there's no way this this car is justified with its price so far. That's a that's a pretty hefty price for a Lotus Esprit. These cars aren't worth that much money in real life either. But whatever. Okay, let's see. All right, let's go with the let's go with these, the Wang Master. That doesn't look too bad. All right, let's see if it comes with bulletproof tires. It does not come with bulletproof tires. Okay. Okay then. You have guns on the front, but it doesn't come with bulletproof tires. Okay. All right. So the tent changes the back glass there as well as the sunroof glass. Okay. Do light smoke. Okay, so those are all the options, and then if you want, you can do the fenders to kind of match your, your battle the design, but I'm not really liking that too much. No Alright, so that's all the options. Let's go ahead and take it for a little drive. Alright, so let's see those machine guns we've heard so much about. Supposedly they're almost identical to the ones in the Night Shark. So let's see here. Just scroll through here to find them. Okay, where is oh there it is. Okay. Okay, just like the uh Night Shark. Very, very weak guns. Okay. That's uh Alrighty. Well let's see if it yeah. Handles pretty good. And this this vehicle again is in the sports classics class. It feels pretty stable on the turns. It feels kind of slow though. This thing definitely cannot keep up with a Turismo Classic just from driving in here. I can already tell. Okay. Oh, this interior is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty decent. I like the sunroof feature that they put in it. Okay. Let's go ahead and drive down here. Let's uh let's go open all the doors, see how they look. Let's see if it just opens the side doors or maybe Rockstar gave us a little surprise. Let's see. Let's uh Let's put it all, there we go. Oh, hmm. oh wow, like a little spare tire there in the front, okay. Nice little detail. And we got the engine back there. Well, I'm surprised, I thought that engine cover would have been sealed. Hmm. Okay. All right, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well, the main question on a lot of you a lot of your minds is probably from the James Bond movie, the car turned into a submarine when it drove in the water. Maybe the reason it costs so much money is because it can turn into a submarine, right? Well, you know what? I'll test it right here. Not for you guys. Let's see. And, uh, no. It's not Nope, not doing anything. Okay, then. Well, alright, Rockstar. So, cost $1.1 million, and you still can't even drive it. It doesn't do anything special. I mean, it's just a night shark with guns on the front. That's, uh, kind of strange. I don't understand Rockstar sometimes, but... Let's go ahead and call Morse it in from Morse Show Mutual. Us. How can we help you? And let's see, because I, I know for a fact the Night Shark, help. it cannot be used in races. Maybe, let's see if the Ardent is the same way. I 
And my friend's telling me right now that the Ardent does not survive any explosives either. So it's just like a regular car. I should be under A, and I don't see it here. Hmm. Well then, maybe it has some special bunker research items. Let's see. Nope, nothing. Okay then. That's, uh, quite interesting. Well then. Well, 1.1 million dollars plus upgrades. Looking at about 1,450,000. You start mixing some paints and wheels and stuff, you're about 1.5 million. And a sports classics car that cannot be used in races, has crappy front guns, cannot survive any explosives, has nothing special to it. The looks is very controversial. With more people that hate it than like it. And the price is just not justified, not even a little bit, in my opinion. Well, hopefully I saved you guys some money by showing you stuff for this car. It cannot survive any explosives either. So yeah. Hope that was helpful to you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.